If you model New South Wales Railways and you want passenger steam, this is a really great option for you. Hi, this is Marlon at Hearns Hobbies and I just wanted to have a quick look today with you guys at the brand new C38 steam locomotive from Australian Railway Modeler in HO scale. Uh, so I've got an example here out of the box on the counter. We're going to have a close look at the details and just walk through it. All right, let's have a look. So C38 was a very successful Australian steam locomotive design specifically for passenger service. Um, it is what they would call an Atlanta or Pacific, not an Atlantic. I got my oceans mixed up. So Pacific class steam locomotive. Um, and that has to do with the wheel arrangement, which was very common for um, steam locomotives both um, in Australia, uh, the US and even the UK. Uh, and that basically refers to a 462 wheel arrangement. And that is four pilot wheels six driving wheels, um, and two trailing wheels. So that particular wheel arrangement is known as Pacific, and locomotives with that um, fall under the Pacific class. Uh, this arrangement was particularly efficient for steam locomotives um, designed for passenger service. Uh, a bit about the history with this one. Um, the colors that you see, this is painted up for the, um, the New South Wales Government Railways, otherwise known as the NSWGR. Um, these were also painted up for Victorian Railways as well. Um, in both streamlined and non-streamlined versions. Last year, the same locomotive was released um, in the non-streamlined version in the green for Victorian Railways. Um, ARM this year has uh, brought us this beautiful example painted up for New South Wales. Uh, so just a little bit more look at the details here. Uh, this is um, uh, quite an affordable model, particularly for an Australian prototype. Um, it's unprecedented that we've seen Australian steam um, at this low of, a, of an entry point in the, in the HO scale market. Uh, but the detail is very, very nice on these locomotives. Um, they're mechanically very robust and um, it can be DCC equipped as well. Uh, it is DCC ready, meaning that it'll work out of the box on an analog DC system. But if you choose to install a decoder down the line, it's very easy to do that. Um, it's actually installed the locomotive frame itself, which just requires a little bit of disassembly underneath. Um, and then it takes a standard 8-pin decoder. So let's have a look um, at some of the finer details. We do have a headlight, which is, on this particular example, not a functional headlight. Uh, but down below you have a separately applied, what looks like a steam generator for the braking system. Um, you've got some really nice um, printed lines here, pinstriping. Very sharp, very crisp, um, even on the pistons themselves. Uh, a very nice arrangement with the side rods. And there's some steam valves on the back here that are also nice um, parts that have been applied separately as well. Some grab handles um, along the walkway here. It's, a, it's quite a beautiful, quite a very elegant Art Deco era design, very streamlined. Um, and the, the locomotive had quite nice proportions in my opinion and lent itself well to that. Some of these were more successful than others, but I think this managed to pull off that look very well. Um, with, the, with the tender itself, it's quite bulky. You've got um, a full coal bay here, so it's uh, molded into the shell. Um, and then you also have what looks like a molded in lid for the, for the water tank. And on the back here, I'll just see if I can separate these. I'm gonna put this back on the track. Uh, you do have a, a ladder as well with the, with the locomotive number two. So buffers are not sprung, but they're very durable and they are made of metal. Put that back on. Another interesting note is that these do not have swiveling bogies on the tender. They are fixed um, and molded into the rest of the, of the frame uh, for the tender. So that may present itself to be an issue if you're running really sharp curves, like number one radius curves on your layout. Um, anything larger than a radius two should be fine to my knowledge. Um, and then you have a simple drawbar connection uh, between the locomotive and the tender itself. Um, there are two settings for that drawbar, so you can have close coupling if the curve radius on your layout allows for it, and then you get a slightly more realistic look. Um, but all in all, a very robust, very solid, well-modeled, and, and very nicely detailed locomotive. Um, and if you model New South, Rail New South Wales Railways um, and you want passenger steam, this is a really great option for you. All right, now that we have this back on the track and aligned nicely, we're going to give it a bit of a run. 
and see how it performs. This is with a standard analog uh, DC power pack. All right, we'll go backwards first, and then forwards. So all in all, very smooth runner out of the box. All right, that was a that was an in-depth look at the C38 steam locomotive um, from Australian Railway Modeler. Um, thank you for allowing me to share that experience with you, and I hope you have a great day.